everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you what the best option is for full HD 1080p game recording without losing any quality or little to zero FPS. Okay, so step one in the general tab, you want to have a separate save folder to where your games are going to save. So what you want to do is click this button here, and you don't want it in the same folder as your games. So I've got my one terabyte hard drive here with my games installed. And I got a second drive where I install my recordings, which I have named Lossless. Over here my five hundred spur. Okay. So you want that on the spur drive so it doesn't have to work twice as hard as well as running the game and recording on the same drive because it might make you lose FPS because they'll be working on the same thing. So yeah, you want that on a spur drive for sure. Okay. And that's it for this general tab. For FPS, you can have this as what you want. It won't affect um, your frame drops. You won't see any frame drops from editing any of this on here. I like mine to show so I know how many frames I'm getting while, showing, while recording. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Now for video. Yep, I like to have mine as F9 because that's what I've always used for many years. So F9 is not going to change for me. Now this is the main... No, not this one. On this option you don't need to change anything. It should be fine as it is. But this one is the main one that you want to change. The presets like YouTube and stuff don't really work out too good for me. So what you want to change is this, right? You want to go to settings. And it, you definitely want to have it on the AVI. MP4 was a good option until I learned that there's a better option now, which is this one, which I'm going to show you. Uh, AVI, then you want full size. So you get the full screen recording of what you're doing, such as 1080p, or you could just choose 1080p, but full size, yeah. You want it to be at 60 FPS. Don't worry if you, if your PC only records like 40 FPS or something like that, because it will just keep that 40 FPS and it won't affect any of your quality or FPS difference if you can only record 40, it will stay at 40, it won't go lower like 10 or anything like that. So you want to keep that at 60. Uh, codec you want to change to uh, YV12. This option won't be here unless you download the lossless codec which is in the video description. So yeah you want to go ahead and download that. This here. You'll find it here. And you can go and download that and install free anyway. That will be done very fast. Okay, so that's what you want to do there. For this, you want to have uh, recommended, just leave it as it is. Okay. And all these audios, audio options, just leave them as they are. Image. Pretty simple. F11. I like to change that to F8 myself. Okay, so that's F8. I like to keep it as that. Uh, I don't really like the mouse cursor showing up on games, but you can have that if you want to. I'm just ticking this box here. Image quality. You want to JPEG high quality because that's just the best one up. And you'll see no bad quality from that. Output you've already changed up here. Okay, output will go here. And that's it. That's it for Bandicam. Your gaming will be in pretty good quality now. Thanks for watching. And subscribe if you like the video and if it helps you out. And have a good day. I'm in love with the cocoa